Hello everyone, it's Montez Rukimich from itsmontez.com and today we're going to be doing a video about placing bloodroot, replanting bloodroot, matter of fact, into the ground. Um, you can dig this all year round, so I love this root. Um, and I've got a flower bed that I've made specifically for my roots. Um, I know y'all haven't seen Dory in a while. Dory, say hello. Hello, Dory. Yeah, she's grown up a little bit, but um, here's the flower bed that we made uh, we got lots of shade here good shade coverage uh, blood root grows really good in shade um, I usually just go ahead and compost uh, my uh, flower bed as much as I want to so this has been two years of composting I haven't planted anything in it and you can see there are some weeds that are just popping up around um, we'll just pull them whenever it comes to planting the blood root so Dore so here's my uh, bag here of uh, well I got some may apple in here and uh, some blood root we ain't gonna fool with the uh, may apple so much so this right here is blood root uh, reason why I watch this crack it open and if you look inside there once I cracked it open try this other side it didn't look too good well it's it turns red We'll find another. Try this one. See that? See how like it's red inside there? It's like bleeding red. Let's see if it'll focus. Focus, focus. It's like bleeding red inside of of the um, root there. See it? See it a little bit better, but. We're gonna take it and we're gonna plant all those back inside here, inside this, so we'll be able to have more of them pop up. Uh, this is transplanting blood root. Um, what you can do is you can take these roots and break them up into smaller pieces and what will happen is you'll have a whole lot more of them pop up. Uh, so it's almost like duplicating your growth. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. So we, have dug a trench for the ground that we want to lay the roots in. It's kind of hard to see, I guess, but there's the clean, the dirt that's been pulled up, and uh, here's the trench we're gonna lay it in. We want to put it at least that deep. Um, give them good growth, give them a good start. There's lots of good worms inside there, as you can tell, it's pretty good dirt there. Uh, and I just use my hoe uh, to get it done. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and lay them in the ground, and I'll show you that step. See, that's what I was telling you about, though. Get that blood looking like there. I cracked this one open, and it, see how it's just bleeding like that? It's all red on the inside. Blood root. Um, let's go ahead and crack this one, show you what it looks like. Flip it over, see it bleeding like that? Um, see, they make iodine out of this, out of this root here. Uh, so, uh, so it's pretty healthy, and all in all, it's good. See, this is a pretty big blood root itself it's been grown for a while but we just go ahead and break it and throw it on in there break it up because uh, that way we want to multiply we do want to multiply our uh, see this one it's white that's not no blood root if it's white like that that's not blood root so the person who dug this obviously didn't uh, do the best at what they were digging uh, as I, I buy see that's blood root there I always crack it open. I buy this stuff, and uh, I transplant it. Sometimes I, I sell it. See, this one's a little bit well done. Sometimes I sell it. Sometimes I transplant it. Uh, but with this batch, I wanted to go ahead and start my, uh, my own, uh, blood root pile. So I decided I'd take some of these blood roots and uh, place them in the ground. But this is basically how you do it. You want to go ahead and crack them open see that that's white it's not no blood root get it out uh, so and you can tell see the red on his on his legs there you can should be able to see red on it if you don't see red then it's kinda that's not what you want uh, I'll tell you what if it's white don't take it uh, they're selling you stuff that's not supposed to be um, but I still got a lot of here so I just wanted to show you all that Dory wants to Dory, say, hello. say hello you wanna say hello Say hi, Dormy. It's a pretty puppy. Yeah, well, she's a good dog. She's grown up. 
Flat pit. She grew up a little bit. She's doing really good actually hunting the ginseng. Uh, you see her, she's sniffing in the bag. That's what you want to do. You want to get your dad to start, you want to get your dog to start sniffing in the bag. Uh, sniffing in what you got. But I wanted to show you all that. So once you get a good enough amount in there, she, it's all inside there. You just cover it up with the dirt. But I'm going to put a little bit more in there. And then uh, I'm going to show you another place I'm going to plant it at.